Love, Victor is a new Hulu original TV series inspired by the 2018 film Love, Simon. The story follows a high school student named Victor as he comes to terms with his true sexual identity. Hey guys, it's Denise Salcedo and I just finished watching season one of Love, Victor. Overall, I liked the season. I thought it had a very simple premise. It didn't have a million like overcomplicating storylines. It was very, very simple. This guy, this boy, he's gay and he's a in high school and he's trying to figure out how to go about it how is he gonna come out to his family to his friends and how is this gonna change his life so it was a very easy premise but let's go ahead and break down the season episode by episode on episode one we are introduced to Victor Salazar. Victor and his family just moved from Texas to New York, so he is a new kid in town. And a lot of what the season is going to be about gets introduced to us quickly. Victor is a good kid. He has a sister named Pilar, who is more of a rebel, and a younger brother. He has both parents and comes from a Hispanic background, which plays a major role in why he is struggling to come out to his parents and even admit to himself that he is gay. Right off the bat, Victor texts Simon to let him know that he is angry at him. He's angry at Simon because he had accepting parents and a happy ending. A nod to the film Love, Simon. In school, he ends up becoming the hottie, catches the eye of the most popular girl in school, Mia. But he doesn't get the same emotions from Mia as he gets with the boy he ends up crushing on, Benji. Benji is openly gay, but has a boyfriend. Episode 2. He starts to have feelings for Mia, but he has intimate dreams about Benji. He then ends up working at the same coffee shop as Benji. It was interesting to see how he fantasized about Benji because it was shown in a very erotic way. And I was starting to get frustrated with Victor, though. I'm not going to lie, because it was so clear what he wanted. But yet he kept leading Mia on. And Mia was a nice girl. She didn't deserve that. And I was like, dude, just get with Benji, man. Like, let's just do it already. But obviously, you know, we had to build the anticipation to that. Episode 3 was a little boring. He just goes on a date with Mia and kisses her. Episode 4 had some good things and some bad things. The good parts were the actual storylines. We discovered that Victor's parents are going through some marital problems after his mom cheats on his dad with his former boss, being the reason that they had to move. The bad part was that I felt the acting wasn't as good. I felt that certain scenes would have been more impressive had the acting been a little bit better. I thought certain uh, cast in this TV series didn't really hit their mark in terms of I didn't really feel that like raw, sincere connection to their character. I felt like they were just reading lines during some of these scenes and I thought that they should have gone in more to their like darker, uglier side, you know, and brought that out in the acting. So I did think that this was a big flaw throughout the season, not for every character, not for every scene, but for certain characters and for certain scenes, I did feel that they felt very, very, very short of expectations. Episode 5 was probably the best episode of the series because Victor has a birthday party at home and invites his friends. Victor's grandpa is homophobic and freaks out when he sees Benji kissing his boyfriend in the house. This leads to a big fight in the family and in the end, Victor does stand up for his friends against his grandfather. Again, I liked the scene, but I thought it could have been a lot more intense. I feel like had this happened in real life, things would have gotten a whole lot more heated. Episode 6. I thought Victor came across as very unlikable. He and Mia are officially a couple, but he has no physical interest in her. They don't even kiss with tongue. We also discover that Benji is not in an ideal relationship. His boyfriend is not the nicest person. For episode 7, I had two very conflicting thoughts. So like first I was mad at Victor because you know he lied to Mia and used this work trip with Benji to sort of have this alone time with him so we kind of saw Victor do you know not some nice things in this episode and but then he ends up making a move on Benji towards the end where he tries to kiss him while they're in bed together and he does kiss him and I loved this scene this was actually one of my most favorite scenes because you can really feel that Victor is nervous and he's like but he's willing to risk it he like can't hold it he can't hold what he wants to do any longer within him he just wants to kiss Benji and have that experience and so I did feel bad for Victor when Benji basically like stormed out and you know just kind of did not 
push that any further and there nothing happened between them. I thought that was a scary moment for Victor. Um, so I actually did really like this scene because it made me feel bad for Victor and it made me confused with Benji. I was like, why is he leaving? Like, hey, give it a try. You never know. <laughs> so yeah, so I did like this scene very much. Episode 8. Throughout these episodes, Victor is still texting with Simon. Simon sort of becomes his confidant, and so Victor decides to visit him in New York City to see what life is like. Victor ends up coming out to Simon's friends after he realizes that they all knew about the text messages between him and Simon, making it the first time that he says it out loud that he is gay. Episode 9. Victor comes out to his friend Felix. And speaking of Felix, he was my favorite character because I loved the way he was with Blake. Blake has her own issues where she cares too much about public perception, but Felix is always there for her. It's also in this episode where Benji stops working at the coffee shop and ends all communication with Victor. And we're also seeing the marital problems between Victor's parents continue. The dad gets seriously annoying in this episode. Oh my god. Or throughout a few of the episodes I thought he was annoying because he said that he had forgiven the mom but then he clearly still had all of these major trust issues and I'm like dude if you said you forgive her like forgive her and trust her but clearly that was not happening. Then in the final episode, episode 10, it's the spring fling and a lot of things happen. First of all, Victor's sister Pilad, she starts to, you know, put things together, starts, you know, finding pieces of the puzzle and fitting them in together. Uh, we also see Benji and his boyfriend break up and then Benji ends up making out with Victor outside which was like really hot but they end up making out but the sad part is that Mia catches them. Mia catches them and she is absolutely crushed. In the end, Mia goes home crying to her family after she discovers Benji and Victor making out. Victor's parents announce that they are getting a divorce, and the final scene is Victor telling his parents that he is gay. So there you have it, my full review of Love, Victor, season one. Overall, I liked the show. I thought the plot was clear and concise, and I have a lot of questions coming up for season two. Will him and Mia ever talk again? How will his parents and sister react? How will their lives change with the parents separating? Will we see Pilad rebel more after all this drama? Will Victor get his happy ending with Benji? What did you think of season one of Love, Victor? Did you like it, love it, or hate it? Go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. Plus, do not forget to give this video some love, show me some love, and give this video a like. And if you would like to see more TV recaps, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo, and I will see you guys later. Bye, everyone.